Tiger Jeet Singh Public School here in Milton is closed for in person learning following 12 confirmed COVID 19 cases. And although it is the only school so far to be closed at the moment, there has been a push to close all schools, not only in Halton, but across the province. As COVID-19 cases continue to rise, unions representing teachers and school staff are calling on the government to do more. A couple of public health regions have taken it upon themselves to shut down schools, but Halton has yet to join Toronto and Peel in closing in-person learning. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario held a press conference along with other unions Wednesday. Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association President Liz Stewart says the decision to close schools should not be left to Halton Public Health. I think specifically what we're expecting is that this government actually finally take responsibility and that it shouldn't actually be falling to public health units. It's actually the responsibility of the provincial government to take care of its provincial citizens. And so I think what we're calling for is that they actually do that. So what has the experience been like for our Halton teachers and school staff? Well, Stewart says the stories are heartbreaking and they've not only heard from Halton, but those across Ontario. Talking about the fact that, you know, they know of teachers who have been in classrooms where there were, were students who have been identified uh, with COVID-19 and yet that teacher is still expected to report to work because they're considered low risk. So it, it's not um, right now Toronto and Peel because those public health units have stepped up um, have been a huge topic of conversation but quite frankly um, you know absolutely Halton, York Region, there are so many Ottawa, there are so many hot spots across the province um, and we are hearing very clearly from from teachers there not only that their concern for their own safety and that of their students, but also their concerns around the fact that none of this government's robust measures have actually materialized in their building. And so how on earth are they supposed to feel safe every day? Now, although public health units can issue closures, President of QP's Ontario School Board Council of Unions, Laura Walton says, it doesn't mean the buildings are actually closed. We have members that continue to report to physical buildings every day. As a matter of fact, in Thunder Bay, uh, we had seven out of eight custodians contract COVID while not a single student was in the school, yet they still had the PPE. They still were following all of the precautions. So this idea that schools are closed, everyone is safe at home and, and nothing's going to happen is, oh, um, not truthful. Now, school closures isn't the only thing these unions want from the province. They say the current vaccine rollout strategy needs to change. If the government wants to maintain that schools should be the last to close and the first to open, the unions say teachers and school staff needs to be pushed up the line to be vaccinated as soon as possible. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.